Oh. May I present Mr. Ginger Dandy and little Pee Wee? Welcome, sir, to our mother's home. Gentlemen, this is my father. Oh, glad to meet you, sir. Glad to meet you. You're sir. welcome. You're welcome. Would you come in, Howard? Yes, yes. Nice place. Yeah, yeah, nice oh, Dad. Huh? Oh, sure. Sure. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. <laughs> well, Dad. Carl, she's wonderful. <laughs> Do you think Madame Van Horn will like her? I don't care whether she likes it or not. Say, listen, don't you think we ought to make a little celebrating in honor of the occasion? Absolutely. <laughs> we could have a few juleps. <laughs> Maybe by 8 o'clock I'll be numb enough to enjoy the party. <laughs> ah, splendid, splendid, splendid. Hey, why didn't you take the wheels off the covered wagon? That's old family bed, sir. Does all the family sleep in that? At one time. You sure is calm, good sir. Hey, does she sleep in it too? She's been dead 40 years. 40 years? Well, we won't have to move over for her. <laughs> if you gentlemen need anything, just ring. Uh, just a moment, just a moment. Here, uh, here's two dollars for you, son. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Jasper, how would you like to make two dollars more? All right, sir. Now, the idea is, that we will bet you two dollars that you can't pick up these three cigars one at a time off the floor without saying ouch. That's a whole lot easier than shooting craps. Just try me, sir. Here, uh, I'll hold the stakes. Now, the cigars are placed. Pick them off the floor one at a time without saying ouch. Just watch them, sir. That's one. That's one. That's two. You're doing fine. the answer. It never misses. It never misses. Say, Ginger, I wonder how people who live in houses like this pass their time. It's a lucky thing for us that Dixie Anna's married into this. Gee, you know I'd love to marry myself into a bed like this. What are you looking for? Some place to put these ashes. Throw them on the floor. Throw them on the floor? <laughs> not me. You know, may not know it, but I've decided that I'm going to be an old Southern gentleman. Well, why didn't you say so? Isn't that a dandy? Certainly is. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. I'll bet you that thing is over a hundred years old. Easy. That's what we call an old antiquity. <laughs> Hello, boys. <laughs> everything all right? <laughs> you got some wonderful things here. Yeah, well, you see, everything in this room belonged to my Aunt Sophie. Aunt Sophie. That's a picture. Oh, is that Aunt Sophie? Yes, sir. She lived in uh, Pennsylvania. <laughs> she died of throat trouble. Oh, they hung her, huh? I guess so. She was high strung. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good. <laughs> Did you say that everything in this room belonged to Aunt Sophie? Sure, everything. She brought it with her from Chambersburg. She must have been a very nervous woman. Oh. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> kind of different, ain't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Unusual. <laughs> uh, quaint is the word. Quaint, quaint, yeah. quaint. And useful. Yes, yeah, useful. Uh, not now, it's too old. It won't catch anything anymore. It used to be all right, but see, they can't even get in now. It's so bent here. Is he here? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's hard to see. Much too old. It's all crooked. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> How's the duck? Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Looks like a bouquet, him. <laughs> here you are. Uh, your good health, sir. No, you're good health. No, 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 you're no, good. No, no, you're, you're good, good health, sir. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, I'm not feeling so good either, you know. 
Now, you help her. You're a good husband. <coughs> How it is, sir? Eh? Mm. Now let, let's go up and drink it. Let's go up and drink uh, Aunt Sophie. Aunt Sophie. Aunt Sophie. Yeah. Here's to Aunt Sophie. Yeah. That's good, that's good. <laughs> you boys know any stories? <laughs> I love a good risky story. And I love games. <laughs> Stories and games. He likes games. You, uh, you like gambling games? Any kind of games. I don't care what it is. Have you ever heard of the game of the three cigars? <clears throat> no, let's play it. It's a game where you gotta put up money. Well, what do I care? I'm a sport. He's a sport. <laughs> Who'll give him the answer? <clears throat> Listen. You hold the stakes and I'll give him the answer. Right. I'll bet you five dollars yeah. that you can't pick up three cigars without getting kicked. Yeah, come. <laughs> the idea of the game is that we'll bet you five dollars that you can't pick up these three cigars one at a time without saying ouch. Ouch? Oh, you see ouch, yes. <laughs> Silly. A child is good to work. <laughs> That's my five. And there are the cigars. Now, why does it not? Let me explain on you. I got to pick these up one at a time. One at a time. And not say ouch. Not say ouch. <coughs> Easy. <coughs> one. That's one. <laughs> 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 